to today's video. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how the Bing AI um, identifies images. But um, a disclaimer, guys, just know that this actually doesn't work perfectly well, but I'm just going to show you guys um, how it works. So if you open Bing just as usual, wait for it to load up. It's going to take a while. And <clears throat> once it starts up, um the, you can see all of this area normally you can come to your bing area and the chat area of your bing and then instead of typing you can actually take an image by using this image option right there so um if i click on this image right if i click on this image like this hold on the image is just next to the place where it says ask me so I just chose that and my camera is enabled. So all you need to do is to capture this image. And then once you capture the image, you can say um, identify the product in this image. So um, what it should do, it should actually supposed to um, identify this image by pulling out information from the web. But for some reason, this particular software doesn't work very well. I've tested it multiple times. When I tested it on a PS4 pad, it worked. When I tested it on some disk, it worked. But it actually doesn't give you the exact um, information. Okay, now it's giving me some information. That's cool. Because I actually did this before making this video. So it did not actually give me the information. So I now told um, the AI that this is actually a bottle. And then it recommended me to use a different um, icon to get it. So you can see that it identified that is a plastic bottle with a product cap on, on the white uh, titled tied floor. Yes, it's very accurate. But most of the times, this is not accurate. So I am just telling you guys to be aware that when you are using this AI image, it might not give you the um, appropriate result. So whenever it doesn't give you the appropriate result, always try to call, um, always try to correct it. Whenever you correct it, you are actually training the AI. So the next time you use it, it's going to get uh, probably no what you are saying because everything saves in your database now to actually explain this further just so you know i have done it before this is my history right there so this is actually where i started and hold on it's loading so i took i took this image this is where i started i took this image and then it says i'm sorry i don't have enough information to identify this image and then i took another i took another image i say what is the image um on this photo and it still did not get what the image is saying it says sorry and then i said it's a um, is a bottled water and then it now give a definition of a bottled water and other stuff and i said um it's a bottled water i was typing and then there was a mistake and then he says sorry and right here i type is a bottled water um uh the bottled water is produced by mr v water in nigeria and then it gives his definition of that particular mr v bottled water and all of it so what i'm trying to say is um you actually need to use this image and you train the ai every time you train the ai and it stores it on the history it can always get to understand what you are saying the next time you are actually searching for it and any other person that is searching for it are actually going to get it correct or accurate now that is that and also um i did more other things so let's continue so all i'm trying to say is whenever you ask the ai a question and they do not know it always try to like um train them or probably say correct them to actually know what you're talking about now let me go ahead and search another image now i have um so this is an insecticide and it's mutin now i want to actually search for this particular image and ask it to identify it so um Okay, so it should be able to identify it, but if it doesn't identify it, I can always correct it. So let's wait for it to search it, and then it should be able to give us the result. So give it some minutes, it's going to finish. All right, guys, so it was able to get it, and it says Mega Saver Motin Insect Repellent. And it's actually correct, but um, the name is not exactly the same. 
the mega saver is actually because um yes is on top of it but the name is motin but it's actually accurate because it was able to read the image thanks to um bing ai but then guys do not forget that when i did this the first time it didn't actually get these images so um if you are actually doing this you might come um across some challenges so just know that it's an ai it might not be perfect so next i'm going to try to run another image now i have um my google pixel 3 phone so i'm going to scan and try to identify it the first time i did this it did not identify it all right let's see what it gave up it gave us all right guys so it says is a smart is a black smartphone with a fingerprint sensor um on the black dual camera setup on top of the left corner and it's actually correct is a black phone but actually not just a black phone it's a google pixel phone so um it didn't actually give me the result i wanted but no problem now let's continue so let me go ahead and take uh the last one guys so i'm going to ask it to identify this image it should be able to identify it okay let's wait for it all right guys so um this is actually the easiest one because i didn't expect it to fail uh because on the image you can notice um there is a ps4 logo or playstation 4 logo so if it doesn't actually identify that then it's a fake so it actually got it correct and this i did not test it initially but then also do not forget guys that whenever you try to um whenever you try to identify images on this bing ai it's not always accurate and it, it doesn't always get it right so if it doesn't get it right there is actually a way to go around it um i know there is google but i'm not talking about google right now we are actually on bing so um click on your instead of your bing chart right instead of your bing chart uh go to the uh, app area or the application area and then there is actually an a separate app called um image identifier hold on all right guys so to get the image identifier just click on the home page it's going to bring you here once it brings you here click on this image identifier this particular one right there yeah. and you can notice this is um an image identifier from bing so this will actually give us different results from what we are getting from the ai image identifier so once you do this it's going to scan the image and it's going to identify the image every time you did not find it on your ai just make sure you use this image identifier and it's going to identify the image and if this doesn't work just go ahead and use a different one but also know that it's not always going to give you the accurate one but then it actually found our image now let's do another one guys let's do this it's supposed to identify the image obviously because i have tested this before and it actually worked but before it did not give me the mr b bottled water at all so um still giving me the same thing no mr b bottled water so i'm always going to go back anyway and then let's do the ps4 this should be easy all right yeah let's wait for it okay very accurate it gave me um ps4 pads and controller very accurate so let's do the last one the last time i did this it actually did not give me google pixel phones i was disappointed but let's see what it gives right now okay um really no different it's the same thing giving me totally a different phone so strange so weird and guys this is all for our video you can see that ai is not perfect but it's actually a lifesaver and it could actually save you a whole lot of time searching for images and trying to discover images or products that you want to purchase online and also do not forget that whenever you search an image it displays the results and you can always click on the link so that you can use them to purchase the products that you want so guys thank you for watching the video and i hope this video is helpful 
Don't forget to smash like and subscribe for more video. I am going to see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.